is take two of uh, <laughs> this webcam. <laughs> I did all this talking last time, and then it didn't even record my voice, and then it messed up the audio. Isn't that great? Anyway, hello there. This is me, the crazy lady from Earth, Death, from the writers of the apocalypse. Not to be concerned with the writers, although if I get a motorcycle, it may change. Um, I'm here to give you the latest apocalypse rider news. Um, I thought that this would be a lot more interesting than typing it out. And, uh, <laughs> so here I am. Uh, first, I want to tell you that my final public appearance in order to promote comics is at SubasaCon this year in Kentucky. It's the first weekend of October. You can go to our website and find the appearances link to find out just when and where and uh, find their website and uh, come and have a good time. Last year was great. I don't normally like to repeat a convention twice in a row, but SubasaCon last year was the bee's knees. So uh, here we come again. Uh, at the con, I'm going to have... Da -da! Akashic Chapter 5, fresh off the press as of a couple of days ago, won't be fresh off the press come October, but uh, as you know, Akashic, between Akashic, Heavenly Bride, and Ten Confessions, the three comics that I do for the Apoc Apocalypse Writers, is the only one that does separate traditional American-sized chapters. Uh, Heavenly Bride will have its first four chapter manga issue sometime after October, as will, well, Ten Confessions might end up before Heavenly Bride, no, it won't. But, uh, we don't know if Ten Confessions is going to be within the next year or two. Uh, on the other hand, at one of our distributor, distributors drive through, uh, who, by the way, are great people, uh, you can get the PDFs of each chapter, and, uh, I highly encourage it. Um, but anyway, yes, chapter five, look at that cover. I am so proud of that cover. I've been brushing up on my graphic artist skills, and I really went all out on this one. And uh, so now I have to top this one for chapter six. <laughs> we'll see. And uh, there will also be posters of this cover. Um, I don't know um, if I'm going to have any other things like that, but yeah. Uh, chapter 5, and if you haven't begun collecting the chapters yet, well, we'll have some of the older chapters. As uh, most pups know, uh, I don't carry a lot of the chapters with me to cons. Uh, this one I have about 9 or 10. And that's all I'm going to have at SubasaCon, 9 or 10. So if you want this and the others, you better line up quick, because when they're gone, you'll have to wait until the next convention to get one from me. Or you can order off of our uh, printer's website, Comics Press, C O M I X Press.com. That's news one. News two, and I'm pretty excited about this one because it's fun. Uh, Ten Confessions is uh, pretty new. We're about to end chapter one, and uh, that's exciting all by itself uh, to know that it's, you know, going and there are readers and it's so much fun to make and and with the silliness and the heartbreak and the cursed bracelet and other stuff and uh i've been trying to think of a shiny to offer as donations for those pups who want to see the comic continue and want to see me be able to pay for bandwidth and bills and things and not have to work hard and never have time to draw ha <laughs> And uh, I finally came up with something that's also going to be at the convention. Um, I come up with, uh, it's a no notebook paper stationery pack, 10 sheets. Uh, if you donate to the website to, to help uh, 10 Confessions carry on, you'll get a 10-pack. Uh, a uh, you'll have to donate like 20 or over because that's basically how the program works. At the con, uh, since they're specialty paper, and uh, there's going to be a limited run of each kind. Um, I haven't quite set a price for the pack. I'm thinking just a couple of bucks. I, I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's a deal. And it's something you're only going to get at conventions from me. I'm not going to carry it in our online store or anything. Um, I like having stuff special for the conventions. It just makes things more special to me. Um, but, yeah, it's got Zoe sitting there. Uh, if I can get this to the camera without blurring it out, if you look, she's wearing the bracelet. Woohoo! Um, I'm excited about that. But yeah, as I said, with each convention, the design will change. And um, so 
uh, I highly recommend that if you're a collector, don't forget me and uh, come by. Um, let me think, last but not least. Oh, what was it? Uh oh, I have forgotten. Oh, no. Oh, yes, voting incentives. For those of you uh, who support the comic by voting and you go through the top web comics voting portal, you'll notice that the voting incentives have changed. And there's now a little pencil comic that I'm doing called A Day in the Life of Death. It was inspired when my husband didn't come home on time. He was coming in from Afghanistan only. And uh, he told me one day, and 24 hours later, he finally arrived. So imagine me standing at the airport freaking out, thinking, because there had also been a Mondo huge plane wreck in his region that day, thinking that maybe I was a widow and not knowing what to do and not having any flight itinerary to go on because my husband's not the best on passing information to uh, people who have a need to know. And... Uh, <laughs> So uh, the, the, the first comic of this series was inspired, and I thought, well, you know, it's not uncommon when you're in the comic business where, especially with mangaka in Japan, and uh, some of those who do the, tradition, the traditional Japanese style here, to uh, make little comics about your day, uh, about your life, or something going on for your fans to read, you know, it just makes the notes to them more interesting, and it's a lot more fun to do. So, uh, <clears throat> currently in the um, voting incentives, we're on to Comic 2. So, if you didn't vote to see Comic 1, it's long gone. And I have no intention of posting it up anywhere, although I admit I did try posting it to my uh, account at DeviantArt, but I'm not able to get in. So, uh, oh well. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they haven't answered my help query yet. I'm still waiting. And, um... So, yeah, uh, they will be in the print versions. I might do them like a crossover, kind of like how Marvel used to do with their mutant battles, uh, have one of the series in one comic and one of the series in another. It depends on how often I get inspired and if I get a surplus. Uh, but other than that, and handling the typical technical difficulties, that is my life, <laughs> including a spam uh hijacker for my browser is keeping me from updating properly that, by the way, has discouraged me from buying the project pro product, and you'd think that companies would get wise by now. Uh, surely there's some smart people out there somewhere. Scotty, beat me up. Um, but, uh, yeah, things are carrying forward, as I always report. And uh, that's it for the news on the apocalypse. If you're a uh, fan, one of our mini pups, and uh, you have a question you would like me to address or, or something in the blog, and I can, and it's a reasonable question, not something, you know, dirty. Uh, I'm not giving you my dirty details, sorry. Yeah, no. Um, send me, uh, write it in the forum or uh, put it in, the, um, in an email. Shoot me, shoot me a letter or a note uh, in the forum. My username is death, of course. And uh, so I'm pretty easy to find, and uh, I'll be happy to make the next web blog with uh, your thoughts in mind. Uh, also, something else that, that's uh, hopefully upcoming is we're looking at adding a comment feature to the front page so that you can just comment about the page directly. Now, Heavenly Bride currently has a new widget I put up. Uh, but what's happening is the makers of the system I use, Comic CMS, which, by the way, is open domain, and I love it a lot better than WordPress, and I recommend it to web comics out there. If you're a webcomic artist and you're looking for a good system, Comic CMS is the way to go. Uh, these guys are great. They're friendly. They help you. They're they're great. Um, and like I said, it's open domain. You know. <laughs> um, then uh, hang in there because uh, they're working on a plugin and uh, they're testing it this weekend. And I'm kind of on pins and needles. And it's supposed it should make it where we can co where you can comment and register and talk about. The page right there on the front page of Akashic and on the front page of Heavenly Bride or Ten Confessions and participate live. Um, that's really exciting. I love that. We had that very briefly on Akashic before and it was great. And then we switched to CMS. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's in the works. No promises on that. Hoping, hoping. In the meantime, if you're a Heavenly Bride pup, use the widget there. I do check it daily. Thank you for check, uh, checking us out. Thank you for reading. And um, can't wait to see your faces when you see the next page. Bye-bye now.
as I hit the stop button, that is. <laughs>